We're back to where it all began. We're here at the first seafood market that we came to, um, in, and we want to source some seafood. Yeah, we've got a, a huge dinner to do for the Australian ambassador. We've been invited by the embassy to cook at the ambassador's residence. And it's a huge deal for us. We're really proud to do that. Yeah, and we're not going to cook Mexican food. We're going to cook what we would love to cook back home. Yeah. Um, and, and we're really looking forward to it. So we need to suss some ingredients out. First thing, salmon. Yep. Let's go get it. We're going to do a little corn ceviche in some pippy shells. So we'll see how it goes. There's been quite a few menu changes based on what we've seen in here, and um, the menu's improving actually as we go. So probably should have come here yesterday and planned it out a little bit better, but this is what uh, cooking on the run is all about. Grab those, they look really good. Yes? Yeah? See. Oh, well done. I don't know if anyone saw that, but that was me going to town on the Spanish language. Ordered tea and passion fruit. So we're back at the ambassador's house and we've been prepping for a while now and I hate to say it, I don't want to say it, but we actually look pretty good for tonight. No, 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 don't do that. Well, what do you want, what do you want me to say? We're under the pump. We, no, we should, no, we should, we're going to jinx ourselves. Well, what do you want me to say? Okay, we're going alright, we're going alright. So, it's a big dinner. Yeah. Really, it's a very important the dinner. The biggest one we've done. By far, the biggest dinner we've done. And we've cooked with some pretty cool people, but the ambassador um, to Mexico from Australia is pretty big and he's bringing along some pretty cool guests. Yeah, what, him and 14 others. We've got some food writers from Mexico, some wine importers, some people from Australian Livestock. Yep. So it's a, it's a big crowd who know their food, so the pressure's on a little bit. We've got to get back into it. Let's do it. The only thing that we're slightly worried about is the meringues. Yeah. Um, the sugar keeps leaching out of them. You're a bit nervous. I'm a bit nervous. nervous. I'll just put it on how to look at the table setting. This is a big deal for us. Yeah. We, um, two just lads from Aussie, and uh, we're cooking for the ambassador, so it's a pretty big deal. I think Benny's freaking out back there. Uh, his meringues aren't really working out, but, but mate, I'm excited. I'm, I can't wait to start cooking. We've tried every wives' tale we've ever heard of to uh, get the meringue sorted. We won't know whether it's sorted for probably another hour and a half. Well, we've just discovered why the meringues aren't working. It's because we're at altitude and apparently you need a completely different recipe at altitude than the one that will work at home. So we're trying again with a brand new recipe I've never seen before for meringues. So it's the first time we've done it. So the fifth time lucky. Firstly, I'd just like to introduce Ben and Andy. It's great to have you both here. Thanks very much. For Thank that. you. I know you're both fans of Mexico. We are. You, you've Love just it. been doing a, a sort of a culinary tour of yeah. eating our way through it. Yeah. So throughout the night, we'll come out before each course um, and explain um, what it is, where we got the inspiration from it, um, and a few other little things along the way. Seeing our travels for three weeks, we've eaten a lot of ceviche. So it's a ceviche prawn uh, with a few little added extras. Pretty keen to try this one out because we only truly just tried it two minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, we, we tried and looked at each other and went, it's going to work. Yeah. <laughs> Salmon is very popular in Australia at the moment, it has been for quite a while now. A new little feature on the dish is the pumpkin flowers. So that's a little Mexican touch, so we should probably stop talking. Yeah. Um, get into <laughs> it and uh, Mains will be out soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, just me this time. You don't get Andy's lovely face because this is a pretty intense time in the kitchen. This is probably about as Australian as we're going to get. Slow cooked two shoulders of lamb, put that in a, a tray and then put it back in the fridge and pressed it. And then that's cooked again, so it gets cooked three times. So we just pan fry it to crisp it up a little bit. And then the other is just the lamb backstrap. Um, which we're just going to pan fry in oven roast and uh, cut on the medallions. And if I don't get back in the kitchen, Andy will go mad. So I'm going to leave you 
Um, and then we'll be able to come out and chat a little bit more length with dessert. So I'm getting okay. back in there. Great. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Well-known dessert in Australia is meringue or pavlova, and this is our modern interpretation of it. And then you've got two types of meringue. The little baby <coughs> meringues, they're a meringue with black pepper folded through them, and then just a normal meringue which has been torn. Strawberries, which taste more like a strawberry than any oh, strawberry you've ever tasted. You guys yeah, have big strawberries. Thank you. Um, <laughs> you're welcome, Amy. <laughs> and then just some passion fruit, and then there's some goat's juice cream just to add a little bit more zing. Yeah. Thank you very much. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. I, I still can't get over the fact that two, two and a half years ago, yep. we were 100% amateur, amateur cooks trying to make our way in a reality TV show. Yep. We just cooked for the Australian <laughs> ambassador in Mexico, and they're frothing by the looks of it. Imagine if, you had, if I just said you at our first ever audition, we'll be cooking for the Australian ambassador in Mexico in two years. I'll give you a piss off. <laughs> I get excited about those. Those things where you, I feel like I'm not meant to be doing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and this is, this is again, this is one of them. Like, yeah. Speech is that. Yeah. It's been a big day. It's been a long day. It's been a, but an awesome. Day. I don't think it will hit me that we did it until I actually get home to Australia, um, watch the footage, the footage back, yeah. and think I can't believe we just did that. No. It's done. Tequila? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Our relationship together started with food and it's always been driven by food. And we can take other paths, we always come back to food being the thing that ties us together. Like, there's no me going to Mexico by myself and doing it. It was always going to be with Benny and there was no trip if we weren't there together. Yeah. I think the most important thing is that we did it our way. We could do it and have the experiences that we wanted to have. It didn't matter what we were doing, whether it be food, having a beer, yeah. having a mezcal. Cooking on a beach in Mexico, fishing, surfing, cooking for the Australian ambassador. Every day there was a point where we'd just have to stop and pinch ourselves and go, can you believe we're actually doing this? And we were living our dream the whole time. Who wants a warache? <laughs> food is what amazed me the most. Yeah. It was about me knowing where that food came from, how little ingredients they could get hold of, the kitchen that they were cooking in. And then once you accept that Mexico is this organized chaos and you relax into it, you start going, <coughs> there's the food. Mm. It's there, it's there, it's there. And that's when Mexico becomes an experience and not just a destination. And Mexico is one of those places that food drives culture and culture drives food. What's next? Everything. It's like, this is day one. How do we look, boys? We've yeah. got our whole lives ahead of us to travel the world and get to as many places as we can possibly get and learn from those places. There's a whole nother world out there, so to speak, that Mexico is just a start of. 